Hey, this is Captain Horf, and welcome to Horf Plays Resident Rise 3. So, Resident Rise 3 is a mod pack, a uh, Minecraft 1.7 mod pack. Uh, Resident Rise is actually my favorite mod pack, so uh, since the experimental builds of this have been coming out, I have wanted to do a little Let's Play. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started here before I uh, continue blabbing. So, I'm going to create a new world. Uh, Horf Plays RR3. More world options. Make sure biomes of plenty is turned on. And that's pretty much it. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, generate the world and then we can start talking. So basically, uh, Resonant Rise is my favorite mod pack. Uh, I played a lot of it in 1.6. It's a really, really big mod pack and it's thematically got, you know, they put a lot of time into kind of tying the elements together. Uh, not necessarily, you know, all the recipes and stuff are the same, but they do some good stuff with world gen and origin, and they actually use metallurgy pretty well, which I normally hate that mod. Alright, so it looks like I spawned, um, interesting. So I spawned on a little chunk of dead, Oh, I spawned right next to some sort of temple. Now I'm expecting there to be spawners or something in this monstrosity, so I'm gonna approach carefully. Um... And then it looks like I'm near some painted clay. So this is actually a desert biome I'm in. I see that, uh, one reason I hate biomes of plenty. I don't hate it, but I'm not, I'm not in love with it. Okay, there's definitely zombie generators in there. Now one thing I don't have is trees. I haven't seen anywhere where I can get a damn tree, so, um... I'm basically just going to go this way. I'm going to try to remember where that was. So, hold on, let me get... Oh, well, that's good. Let me make sure I can't cheat anything in. Good. thought I had cheat mode off, but making sure. Alright, so let me, uh, while I'm just kind of looking for a good place to tr start punching trees and get started, let me just go over uh, what I'm running here. So this is Resonant Rise 3.1.1.2, experimental build. Um... I'm doing the main line, so basically uh, there's a light and a main line. Okay, I've noticed a chunk, I think chunk generation's probably doing that. Oh god, there's some big building over there. So a lot of big world gen, that's probably what locked it up as it was generating that huge... Oh, look at that. Is that a castle? Um, since I'm not the biggest builder in the world, especially for early game, I'm tempted to empty one of those and appropriate it, so I might end up doing that. But right now, I just need to find some damn... Whew. just need to find some... I wonder if the saguaro can be used as, uh, as wood. I don't think it can. I don't really know. But anyway, uh, so beyond doing the normal... I think it's just normal cactus, or light cactus. This is Natura, so uh, let's see. What can I do with this? I can make cactus green. And I can make cactus green. Alright, so it's basically cactus. Uh, it looks like there might be some crops. In, that's either grass or crops. I can't really tell yet. Um, but anyway, uh, some of the mods that I've added on top of the main line, I've put on uh, Buildcraft Editions. I don't even know what that is, but why not? Uh, Chococraft, so it'll add chocobos to the game, which... Who doesn't want chocobos? I added Decocraft in case I want to get RT, although I'm not usually particularly RT. I just think it adds a lot of nice little stuff. Uh, speaking of stuff, all right. Speaking of stuff, I've also added garden stuff. I do kind of want to play with that. Eh, a couple of visual mods, not essential, but uh, what the hell? Why is there all this glass laying around out here? That's interesting. It's desert, right? Desert. And there's just glass laying around. Oh, my hands. oh because we have. A sky meteor. I'll be back for that. Uh, so that's applied in... Oh my god, look at all this world gen! How many freaking castles are there? Alright, well apparently I am in the caliphate. I cannot find a tree to save my life, but I am just finding all these castles. Look at all that oil. What is this? Pirate Archer. I probably want to stay away from those guys. Okay, water, lily pads, crops. I don't suppose any of you have food. 
All right, so much world gen. Now, if you look, wow, this is just a barren start. I'm gonna have a rough start because look at this; it's already noon, and these places are well guarded. It's not like I can just walk into one of them and use it. Okay, I see a tree off in the distance. Hallelujah. I see a village, actually, so... Okay, that... Alright, cool. Alright, we should be fine. Anyway, uh, let's go back down the list. Uh, I kind of stopped there for a second. So, I also added an Industrial Craft 2, uh, and a bunch of the Industrial Craft 2 mods to go with it, so advanced machines, advanced repulsion systems, because uh, we have no MFFS. Uh, advanced solar panels, IC2 nuclear controls. I've never built a nuke plant for IC2, but I might give it a try. Uh, I've also added progressive automation just because it looks simple and fun, and I might play with it a little bit. Alright, so we have potatoes and carrots. <laughs> Woo! Huh. I thought this was going to be a rough start. Dude, is that a smeltery? We have a smeltery. Uh, huh. Wow. Uh, huh. What a lucky. Alright, so, um, I guess we'll use this guy's house. Oh god, this place is busy. Huh. Huh, yeah, huh, indeed. Alright, so, uh, anyway, we'll get back. I'm just making some basic tools. I'm gonna make an axe so I can chop some wood more easily. I'll make a sword because we're probably gonna have to fuck with zombies later. Because where there's villagers. Is bound to be zombies. Uh, try to get a pick. Just, come on, asshole! Oh my god, I hate you guys. Uh, <laughs> pardon my French there. Um, anyway, so... Uh, other mods I've added. Where did I leave off? Progressing on me. I added redstone paste. Added RF tools, which is pretty new mod, but... Thought we'd check it out. Um, looks interesting. Uh, routers Reborn, just because I do miss routers. Thumbcraft Mob Aspects, and the Erebus. The Erebus is sweet. Uh, I played with the Erebus in one pack, and it added some like Black Widows to the Nether. Really creepy. Well, I'm looking forward to checking out the Erebus. So, uh, that's what I've added. I've also removed a couple mods from Mainline, just because they don't really fit in with uh, what I'm planning to do here, or my style of play. One of them is Artifice, just because it adds a lot of world gen. Uh, I tend to not, um, I don't normally like Metallurgy, uh, because it does the same thing. It adds a lot of just origin. Oh my god, growth craft? We got hops. We got a little hops farm out here. Alright. This is actually where we're going to... Yeah, this is perfect. We can set up like right here. We set up a bed, set up uh, crafting stuff. Uh, anyway, uh, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, anyway, yeah. Artifice, because it adds a bunch of world gen. Magical crops, just because it adds... It's... I don't know. I don't know. It's just one of those mods that just generates stuff, and it's really, like... I don't know. I guess I think it's a little... I'm not going to say it's cheap. If you play with magical crops, be my guest. It's your world. I just don't... I find it a little... Whatever. <laughs> anyway. Uh, mind chem for the same reason. Uh... And uh, I also took out quiver bow and quiver mobs just because I didn't didn't really want them in my world. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm just chopping a bunch of wood. I'm gonna wear out this axe. Uh, we do actually need to get going. Uh, I'm gonna try to make a wooden pick. Make a wooden pick. Get a little bit of stone together. I should be able to just dig in right over there, I guess. Actually, there's a bunch of stone right here. I can dig. Let's just, uh, I'm going to figure out, oh, damn it, where is the building I was posted up in? There it is. This is, this is like a church or something. This is the one downside of starting by, uh, borrowing a village is to noisy-ass villagers. And if I go all the way up here, there's normally, yeah, it's like a pretty good lookout spot. Yeah? Yeah, I like it. Might actually put the bed up here. 
because this is that much further away from mobs. Oh, I saw some more berries. Hi there. And then I'll put storage there. Um, yeah, that sounds like a plan. So I'll put storage and crafting here, so let's make another crafting bench. Anyway, so really early game. I just want to get situated. Um, I will maybe do a little mining this episode. We'll see how far it gets. Uh, but either way, this is probably the only episode where you'll see any extensive mining. Um, I'll try to get some mining done off camera uh, between episodes. So one of my goals is just to have, uh, just to keep the flow going uh, properly. Uh, I know this is my first time doing it, and I'm definitely open to any suggestions, but just things I've noticed that work and don't work in other series. Uh, to keep the flow going, I basically want to end each episode with some homework and let you guys know what I'm going to do off camera, and then when I come back, I will have done those things. So, it's getting late. Crap, you know what? I forgot. got to go up here. What I want to do is create... Oh, i got to hurry. In fact, I might not have time to do this proper. I want to create a wooden pick, and I just want to go get as much stone as I can. Whatever mod adds to those fireworks, because I don't think that's vanilla. I'm not going to lie, it's a little annoying. Oh, and the other thing is that w with Batania, <laughs> villagers just uh, kind of puke emeralds occasionally. So where was that stone? There was a big stone, like, son of a gun. It's a hobgoblin. Are you friendly? There it is. I just want to get eight to make a furnace. Uh, Eleven would be great. Six. Seven. And let's uh let's get a move on. Yeah, it's it's officially dark out. So luckily the town has a little bit of light. Hmm. I love the little one that's like hey. So cute. Alright. And there's a little torch in here already. Cool. We picked the right spot to post up. Unfortunately I did not have the foresight to grab uh some wool on the way so we're gonna have to kinda sit through the night so I'll probably cut the video here um, and when it's daytime again and we got some stuff to do I'll turn it back on alright guys so uh, we'll see you on the flip side alright I'm back and as you can hear in the background everything is uh, getting burnt to a crisp um, I decided to move all the stuff down here just because Fireworks. Uh, Alright, uh, so... Let's go collect the rotten meat. Oh, hello. So I actually didn't have too much trouble. I think part of the reason... Well, okay. The town did have a bit of trouble, apparently. Uh, let's get that guy. I don't know if these hobgoblins are... Uh, All the little zombies, dude. The little zombies are trouble. Alright, anyway. Um, poor little zombies. Is there really a spider web there? That's ridiculous. Oh god, the little guys are gonna kill me! Uh, Alright, well I'll be back when I get back to this place. And we're back again. Uh, that should give you an idea of my aptitude as a Minecraft player, by the way. Uh, I'm not exactly MLG over here. Uh, but anyway, we're, we're back. Uh, on the way I found some sugar cane too, so all's well that ends well. Uh, it actually, you know, turned out to be a little worthwhile. I don't know what this stuff is. I don't know if this is... Yeah, this looks like some kind of... Stru yeah, with zombies and everything. Alright, well we have a lot of adventuring... Uh, a lot of adventuring sites to clear out already. So that's pretty awesome. Okay, we have yet another castle. This is seriously, like, castle... This is Castlevania, man. Alright, so anyway, uh, things we want to get done today. 
Um, basically, we want to get a mine going now, and then I'm gonna... That's probably gonna be it for the first episode. Uh, next episode, just to give you a preview of what I'm aiming for, I'm probably gonna start early with, uh, you know, I'll get ore doubling going. I haven't decided if I'm gonna go straight to mechanism or if I'll start with Ender IO. I'm kind of leaning towards starting with Ender IO. Uh, mechanism, I'm really, there's more infrastructure set up that I don't want to do yet. And I've decided not to use, I really love mechanism. It is a little overpowered, but I think it gives you a lot of creative options. Um, but that being said, I think I'm going to try to stay away from using mechanism generators. Just because they're kind of boring for a Let's Play. Uh, they usually don't require a regular source of fuel. Like, they pretty much set them up and forget about them. So, uh, probably going to focus on using... Oh shit, I don't have my torches. I'm probably going to focus on using big reactors, mostly for uh, for that. So, uh, let me go grab my torches real quick. Alright, so I started digging down, and I found something rather interesting. I hear bubbling lava, for one thing, so we're going to be careful. Um, yeah, there it is, alright. So this is at Z level, or Y level 38, which is not that... Um, it's kind of surprising to find lava here. Um, anyway... I was hoping this would be a bit bigger of a cave, um, so uh, hopefully something eventful will happen shortly. Uh, basically though, we're, you know, we're doing the standard staircase, stairway to heaven, uh, down to the diamond layer. So, uh, let's see what we find. So, we're down on Z level 10 now, I just built a little staircase all the way down, um, and I've just been mining, I just started mining a little bit, uh, and then I decided to cut it back on, so, uh, basically... There's yellowite here. I'm trying to get as much yellowite as I can since I'm going to start big reactors a lot earlier than I normally do. In fact, we're going to use it fairly early to generate power. So, um, great. Let's, uh, stack of these. So, uh, I've been back and forth a couple times just digging this hole. Nothing really that eventful has happened since the last, uh, last update. So, basically... I just, uh, I got down here, um, digging out a little bit of stuff. I was thinking about that lava I found earlier. I've been thinking about what I'm going to do with it. Um, probably just going to make a simple tank as soon as I can and bucket brigade it up. We need iron pick for this. I didn't, I didn't find enough iron to make an iron pick so I can get some redstone. Uh, really, I would like to find some diamonds. would be beautiful. So I'm actually pretty happy with the way things have started. Oh, is that more yellow, right? Really happy with our start so far. Uh, I was a little disappointed that it took so long to find even the first tree. But uh, the fact we started next to a well-stocked village with a, a, a smelter more is going to more than make up for that. Wow, that's actually quite a bit of yellow, right? So this is the first time I've done Minecraft videos. Uh, I've done most of what I play is roguelikes. I've done a handful of roguelike videos. You may have seen my brogue videos. You may have seen I did a little short series for Smart Cobbled. Um, what else? That's pretty much it. I keep meaning to make Dungeon Crawl Stone Suit videos. That's probably the game I am most comfortable uh, recording myself playing, just because I know it fairly well. Um, anyway, I do a lot of streaming too, as most of you probably, if you're watching this, you know me from streaming. So, oh, there's some Periodot. I actually want to get gem tools as soon as I can for some of the stuff I need to do. So I'm probably not going to just mine, you know, I just uh, wanted to talk a little bit while we mine here. I'm hoping I'll find some diamonds on camera, but uh, if not, you know, we'll... I'll cut it back on when we find the diamonds. Well, the first run back, I didn't find much of anything except for loads of Eulorium, but I did want to show you guys real quick that, uh... I'm using these drying racks from Tinker's Construct. Oh, that's done. Uh, try to get some food together. Uh, now I have potatoes, which is good, but, uh... Just to kind of supplement that, I got a little bit of, uh... Monster jerky cooking up. So... Drying up, whatever you would call it. So, uh, basically I'm trying to stay real basic on food sources without having to grow a lot of crops. Not really... Don't really want to do that right away. Uh, kind of want to do some other stuff first. Uh, so let me make a gem pick since I happen to have three periodots. Let me just make a gem pick there. And... 
Um, yeah, see, look, we found 57 Eulorium and, like, 4 iron. So, uh, what happened, though, is that we ran out of torches. So I'm actually just going to torch up all the wood we have left. Or charcoal it up, I should say. Four. Um... Let's do the birch and keep this. And then we'll just throw together some more torches and we're gonna go back down into the abyss. I almost walked right past them, but uh, I was breaking uh, one of these uh, infused stones and uh, lo and behold, there's some diamonds hiding back here. Nice, as Dire Wolf would say. Let's grab the diamonds. Yes! Oh, it's actually worth the celebration this time. Alright, so I only got four. Meh, whatever. It's four diamonds. So, we're doing pretty good, actually. I uh, went to Zeal level 30 and did a little mining up there. Ripped out about 18 iron. And, what the heck, I'll grab some of this Osmium. I was going to wait to grab Osmium, but might as well start now. Uh, actually, I do want to get a Metallurgic Infuser, even if I don't start with Mechanism for or, or Duplication and stuff. I do want to start, uh, I want to get an energetic infuser, or metallurgic infuser, and start making steel, so that I can, well, you'll see. Just filling this in, I don't know. Uh, and I actually do have a couple uses for cobble, so I'm okay to collect a bit of it. Uh, one thing is I'm probably going to use it early for some progressive automation. We'll see. I haven't played with progressive automation before, so I want to give it a try. See if I can get a really early game quarry going. Okay, well that's... holy shit, dude. That's gold. I think one of those is gold. Um, alright then. I am going to... Careful about this. Gold is the one thing I need. I need gold. If I had gold, I could make a sag mill. I just need gold for the capacitor. So I see I can click here. Cool. I just want to safely get this gold. There's gold. Yellowite. It looks like the yellowite gold uh, vein collided with the gold vein, so I'm probably. Ooh, careful now. Probably not gonna get that much. Yeah, that was only a couple gold. That's unfortunate. Well, I only need. I think the recipes were okay. We're just gonna leave it de alone down there. The recipes I found only require nuggets, so. Uh, so to make capacitors, I think you only need four nuggets, which is half a gold. So I should be able to make the capacitors without needing a ton of gold. Um, hopefully two will be enough. Alright, so I'm going to get back to the surface. I'm going to get a couple things going. Uh, if I can, I'd like to get a uh, tank going. I want to get a sag mill going. Mainly I want to get a sag mill going, and then I guess we'll probably use... Probably a survivalist generator, it's just boring always starting with those, so I'm thinking if there's anything I can do to spice it up a bit. I might actually make a sterling generator. Um, let's look real fast. Yeah, I should be able to do that actually. So yeah, let's uh, let's start with a sterling generator and sag mill. So let me get up to the surface and we'll get that going. Alright, um, before we wrap up this episode, I'm going to try to... I'm just trying to figure out where. Um, I set up all these chests down here, but I think I might end up... Yeah, I'm going to break this shit. I think what I'm going to end up doing is setting up... Uh... Oh boy. Alright, yeah. I thought about... I planned this out. Obviously. Let's start loading stuff in. Let's just load in all the things. Um. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of all this decoration crap. I don't need decoration. Um. Alright. In fact. 
Uh, I think we're just gonna rip it all out. All right, so uh, I want to build a sag mill. I'm gonna have to smelt up some. I don't have to smelt up probably most of the iron I have for that. So let me let me grab the iron. Where is the iron? Right here. I might not need. I'm gonna just smelt it all up. It might be a little wasteful, but it's okay. So we're gonna smelt up all that, and then let's see, what else are we gonna need for... Let's start with the sag mill. Actually, we need to start with the sterling generator, don't we? So we need... Yeah, that's easy. I just need to make some sticks. Um, where's the crafting bench? Did I not pick up a crafting bench? I must have put it in here. Crafting bench. So, we'll put that down here. And, uh, we'll make these, uh, and he just needs sticks and rocks. You know what? Okay, I do have wood. Thank the Lord. Alright, so let's make enough sticks. Uh, I think that should be enough. And then it's just, uh, sticks and rocks, right? Alright, let's make two. And... Uh, stone bricks, so we're gonna have to cook... Wow, one, two, three. We're gonna have to cook about eight stone. Uh... One, two, three, four. Yeah, see this mouse tweaks his issues. Let's do it the old-fashioned way. And actually, why don't I... We'll make up a second furnace to get this rolling. I'm gonna need a furnace for uh, one of them anyway. So... This will end up being an ingredient in one of the recipes, I believe. Let's grab some of this. Oops. Let's grab some of this coal. Throw this in here. Uh, we'll start cooking up the cobblestone we're gonna need. Good, good. Alright. And I'm actually going to put them here and then leave a space here for cabling. Yeah. Sounds good. It's getting a little tight in here, I know I realize. But, you know. So, um... What else do we need? We need the furnace, so we'll pick up that furnace once the stone bricks are done. Oh, and we're going to need a piston, so let's make a piston. Like so. Alright, so we have everything we need except for the stone bricks. And you know what? While we're at it, I'm just going to cook up another eight. And I'll make another furnace. Because I'm going to want both of these furnaces to be going for a while, and I'm going to need a furnace to make this uh, sterling generator. So... We need eight to make the number of bricks. We're going to need six bricks. Seven. And we're running short on time, so uh, we might go a little over 30. Um, let's make the bricks we need. Great. Let's make the sterling generator. Great. We'll throw this guy in the middle. Um, I'm sure we're going to want to start, uh, we'll get this guy's buffer filled up. Goody. And then, uh, I think we're good on smooth stone. Um, we got this iron going. Alright, let's move over to the sag mill. Sag mill, we're going to need, um, flint. You know what? The flint might be a problem. Yeah, we only have one flint. Um, I don't think we have enough gravel to beat up either. Um, yeah, so you know what? I'm going to have to go grab some flint to wrap this up. Um, so let me go do that. Well, actually, I didn't even need to cut camera. That didn't take long at all because there's tons of gravel right outside here. So I just uh, dug up gravel until I got the two flint I needed. And uh, we do need to make... Okay, this is where we're going to need to cook up one copper and one gold nugget, or one gold, I should say. So here's one gold. Remember how I said it was going to be half a gold? Here's where that part comes in. And we'll cook up one copper. I'm actually wasting my coal right now quite a bit. But that's okay. So we got our one gold. I think we can throw some of this junk in here. And one copper. And let's make the bricks we need. Oh wait, we don't need the bricks anymore. We're done with that part. So. Let's make a capacitor. What are we missing? Oh, we need nuggets, right? So, gold nuggets. Let's see if we can do it now. 
this? Yes. So, there's our capacitor. And then, uh, we're going to need to make iron bars. Which I believe is this. Yep. Great. So now we can make the machine frame for the sag mill. And looks like we need to make another piston. I thought I only needed one. Shit. So let me grab that. And make the piston. Iron, redstone, I need wood. Piston. And Oh come on, what am I missing? Uh got this, got this. Maybe I just need to do it manually. Um, piston, iron, iron, and flint. Good lord, I thought I had another flint. That's the problem. And somehow I must have put it in the chest. That was smart of me. Alright, so for the last time, boom, sag mill. And we're just going to put it on the left here for now. Uh, let me take this guy away. So the last thing we're going to need is a, uh, yeah, see how it's kind of, let's throw a couple more coal in here. Um, so what I'll probably do is, eh, I'll figure out how I want to do this. I might, what I might do, what I'll probably do is I'll have a leadstone energy cube here. I'll have the sterling generator on top of the cube, and then I'll have the machines here. So they're next to each other and they can move inventories back and forth. Uh, but we're out of time for now, I think, so uh, we'll set that up uh, between this episode and the next. So what I want to do before next episode, uh, I want to... I'll probably make the, the, the Ender IO smelter on camera and the leadstone, yeah, all the stuff I need, but I want to make sure I have the materials for it. Uh, we're going to set all that up, and then we're probably going to get into some Batania. So anyway, this was my first uh, video, you know, I know it was a couple couple little issues and a little rough around the edges, but I am working on it. I do encourage any input you have. I want to try to make this a thing. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it, and I'll see you next time. Take care.